Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning something called conditional compilation or we're going to learn about the conditional statements. So these conditional statements are going to allow us to execute some part of code depending on some condition, whether it is true or false. So one of the statement which is allowed to do that is called the if statement. So uh, if statement is a conditional statement which is gonna allow us to execute the code based on some condition. So to use this if statement we need to use the keyword if and uh, then a pair of uh, parentheses and between these parentheses we need to write the condition. And if this condition is true then we are gonna write the statement that we want to execute between the curly braces. So the if keyword then the condition within the parenthesis then pair of curly braces and here we're gonna write the statement that we want to execute if this condition evaluates to true. So this condition is nothing but the expression constructed using the comparison operators. So in C++ we have some comparison operators. For example we have the double equal to which is uh, which is used to compare if something is equal to something and then we have uh, less greater than or equal to then we have less than equal to and we have not equal to and uh, and we have a not operator you know which is used to get the negation so we're going to use these operators and we're going to construct the condition in if statement all right guys now we're going to see how to use this if in our program so just for the demonstration purpose I'm gonna create a variable first and uh, I'm gonna call it as age. We're gonna consider a real example. In India the age for voting in election is 18. So if your age is less than 18 then you can't vote in elections. So we'll be writing a program which is gonna check the age of the user and depending on his age you know the program is gonna tell whether he can vote or not. So for that I have created a variable here called age which is of type integer. And next we're gonna use the if statement. So it's gonna be if so if is a keyword then a pair of parentheses and between this parentheses we're gonna write our condition that is we're gonna check the age of the user and it's gonna be age and then we're gonna use something called comparison operators in C++ we have uh, double equal to less than equal to greater than equal to not equal to and not operators which are frequently used while constructing the expression you know to form the conditions so here let's say if the age is less than or equal to 17 then uh, whatever we want to execute will be written in between the curly braces and that's why I'm gonna put two curly braces and here I'm gonna say see out you can't vote so go home all right Next, uh, we're gonna add uh, end line. Okay, now we need to initialize our variable. So, so I'm gonna initialize the age as 16. So 16 is less than or equal to 17. So this expression evaluates to true, or in other words, we can say that this condition is true here. You know, 16 is less than or equal to 17. That's why whatever we write in between these curly braces will be executed. So to demonstrate, so I'm gonna build it, run. Now you guys can see, you can't vote, so go home. That's because the age is less than or equal to 17. That's why you can't vote. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this age and we're gonna make it, let's say 22. Now if I save this, build and uh, run this, so you guys can see we got nothing, that's because since this condition failed, you know, this age, which is 22, is not less than or equal to 17, the if block is not executed and the program just, you know, continued with the next line. That's why we didn't got anything here. So I'm gonna close it now and let's change it to 16. So now we know that, you know, when the expression in the if is successfully executed or when it is evaluated to true we can only execute the statements in if what if we want to execute some other statement if this expression is false 
or if this expression evaluates to false. For example, in our program, we want to print something to the screen when the age is greater than or equal to 18. To do that, we're gonna use another part of if which is called else. You can use this if alone or you can use it as if and else. If this condition is true, execute this statement else execute these statements which are written in this else block or you know between this pair of curly braces so here in this case i'm gonna copy this one and uh, i'm gonna paste it and i'm gonna say yes 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 you can vote all right now i'm gonna save this and uh, just remember that our age is 16 right now and that's why you know this expression evaluates to true and this if block will be executed and this else block is not executed so we, we will get you can't vote so go home i'm gonna save it build and run so you can see you can't vote so go home now if i change this one to let's say 22 now this age is not less than or equal to 17 which means this expression evaluates to false or this condition fails that's why this if block will not be executed and this else block will be executed and we're gonna get yes 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 you can vote i'm gonna save it build and run yes 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 you can vote okay now uh, the next thing is here the comparison operator that we have used you know you guys can use the greater than or equal to double equal to not equal to or not operators with the boolean variables you know all these things you can do you know just for the demonstration purpose i have used this less than or equal to here and depending on the expression you are forming you know you guys need to use different different comparison operators and the next thing that i want you guys to teach is about you know whether we need to use this braces or not if you want to execute only one statement after this if or after this else then you guys don't need to use this curly braces you know you can use it but you know it's not necessary so just to demonstrate that i'm gonna uh, remove this and here also now if i save this build and run this you know the program works successfully but you know just remember that if you want to execute only one statement or one line of code after your if or else then you guys don't need to use or it's not necessary to use the curly braces if you guys want to execute more than one line then you guys need to use the curly braces all right guys that's it thank you for watching and this is about the if statement in c and like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and i'll see you in the next tutorial